Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Ronnie. This is my craft corner. And a long time ago, I used to have a roommate named Lonnie. Lonnie and me had such great times. I spilled it all over your iMac. Oh no, there's a bug. Is that dirty dishwater? There's a little bit of hairs on top of the four molars I keep on there for some reason. <laughs> You've been pranked! But after a while, he got too sick of the pranks and he moved out. But after hours of begging on the phone, Lonnie actually decided to move back in. So I just texted Lonnie and he said that he'd be here any minute. Hello. Lonnie? What are you doing here, my boy? Come on, I'll let you in. Get your head out of here. Come on in, it's so bright out there. Let me show you around. This is my craft corner. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> he doesn't know this is part of the video. <laughs> well, anyway, how do you like it? I like it. It's not intimidating or scary at all. It doesn't remind me of the Joker. <laughs> well, Lonnie, you're probably wondering, where the heck am I sleeping tonight, right? I'm pretty tired from the walkover. Well, come on, I'll show you. All you gotta do is grab yourself the stool and jump up on my desk. Oh, yeah, simple as that, huh? And then you move the TV. Oh, okay. Don't break it. It's a very delicate TV. And then you go through... <laughs> The secret door! Maybe I don't need to sleep, I'll just rest here. Uh, no, Lonnie, you oh, can, okay. no, yeah, don't sleep yeah. in my craft uh -huh. corner, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come that on, come on. Do. Oh, yes, Lonnie, ready to go down the slide? I'm not afraid of where this will lead me at all. Be careful, I'll this see you later. Kind of like an allegory for how I got here, I guess. See ya, goodbye. Yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> well, I guess it's my turn. I'll be right down, Lonnie. <laughs> Whoa! Is this how they make the Saw movies? Welcome to my basement, Lonnie. It comes with a slide that comes from the craft corner. Slide right into the basement, check. So that's how you have to enter, or I guess you could also take the stairs. <laughs> and who is this? Oh, this is your roommate. An intellectual, my apologies. Hello, shalom, my friend. He's actually my stuntman. What do you think? I'm afraid of my life. He's a real good friend of mine. Um, he has some great hair and he has a great sense of style. <laughs> How do you feel about where you're sleeping tonight? Uh, Mr. Krabs warned me about these hooks, but otherwise, whatever, what, what could go wrong? Oh, yes. Well, I'll let you get situated, put away your things. Lonnie, you didn't even bring a backpack. What's I up with that? I won't be looking for an escape. What? Yeah. Okay, Lonnie, I'm going to let you get settled and do your thing. I'll be right back. I'll just be down here with the horror masks. Okay, have a good one. <laughs> it's time to prank Lonnie. Okay, guys, so for this one, you're going to need some toilet paper and a lint roller. You're going to put them together. Why is there toilet paper blue? I don't understand. Anyway, you're going to grab a hair dryer. Oh, I think we're going to need something a little stronger than a hair dryer. And then you're going to blow on the toilet paper. It's going to send all the Toilet paper just flying, just going everywhere. Take that! This looks like a good prank. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need is a leaf blower. And instead of a lint roller, I'm actually gonna use this paint roller. I tried it with a lint roller once and it didn't work very well, but this bad boy, huh, it fits on here like a charm. Look at that. Oh, just kidding, it doesn't spin. I might have messed, I gotta take some of this paper off. Oops. Okay, I found one with uh, way less toilet paper on it. This ought to work. Oh, yes, that's more like it. Look at this roll, roll. Thank you so much to anyone who said bless you. Oh my gosh, I have to tape this bad boy to the leaf blower. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, guys, it's time to go prank Lonnie. Here we go. Would have never done this to me. What do you think, Lonnie? Was it good? It reminds me of home. Wait, what? You've been great! Uh, well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely uh, works. So, one, two, three, go has this really funny prank that you can do on people who just love tape. The 100 layers of tape challenge. You just gotta find some solid tape your friends do and just keep taping them to it. Yeah, put a piece of tape over their mouth so they can't talk. And then you can remove whatever they're standing on and then it, they're just floating. Wow, that's revolutionary. I have the perfect idea to try this on Lonnie. Oh, hey Lonnie, how's it going, buddy? I'm chilling, recovering from nothing. Well, I'm really sorry about that prank from earlier and um, I have a surprise for you. What? Sorry. <laughs> I just haven't slept very well, ever. I'll just come upstairs and I'll show you. 
These stairs? Yeah, just go right on up. I don't think I've ever gone up these stairs. I'm not sure I've ever wanted to. My bedroom's up there. Don't oh, okay. just go. Yeah, there we're in the basement. Oh, God. Okay. I really don't know why my basement comes out of my closet, but, you know, here we are in my master bedroom. And, uh, huh, isn't this cool? Do you know what that is? It's where the firemen come from. Uh, yeah, this is our fireman pole. Isn't it fun? You can just spin around on it. Woo! Woo! Come on, Lonnie, just uh, s sit on down. I'll do some really fun fireman tricks for you. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just like Hooters. Start out like this. Run in the back. Oh, my God. Where is he going? That boy going. Then you can kind of do this kind of thing. Whee! You can also do one of these, maybe. <gasps> Yeah, you like, is this good? <laughs> you like that? No, you keep asking me that. I want to reevaluate my good scale. Here, now it's your turn, Lonnie. <laughs> Get on up there. Uh, what, what do you do, just press this? You got games on your pole? Oh man, that requires some strength. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Lonnie, remember that one time that you taped me to your garage wall? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? My name's Robbie, I'm taped to a wall right now. <laughs> You would never be mad about that, right? Especially because it was your idea. Well, now it's your turn to be taped to this fireman pole. I do love the fireman. Just stand right there, Lonnie. Don't worry. Intern! Intern! Okay, I'm doing my job. Come on. Okay, <laughs> grab some tape and help me tape this man to a pole. We need to take no. That's what we need to do. That's today's craft. <laughs> I'll do you on the other side. I'm starting to feel like this was a setup. Ah, 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 ah. Well, we had some hiccups there, Lonnie, but now you are now taped to the pole. How do you feel? Confined and sexy. I like uh, how you're still riding the skateboard. That's a you got some cool tricks going on. It's actually like the best way to do this. I can't fall. Okay, Lonnie. So now uh, we're gonna try to spin you on the pole. Can you put your Can you put your feet back? Is that hard? <gasps> oh my God! He's actually standing. Okay, I'm gonna spin him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so surprised this works. I'm gonna puke in my mouth and maybe yours. Oh, friend, oh, friends. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Well, have a good one, Lonnie. See, See you later. Uh, have a good nap. Um, I'll let you out later. Uh -oh. I'm becoming a butterfly. I'm almost ready. <laughs> I need my inhaler. Let's cut you out, Lonnie. Oh. Be real careful. Got some vital organs back here. My liver. It's enlarged from years of abuse. <laughs> well, there you go. You are now free. Oh my god, I don't feel free. Did I kind of want to save this tape for memorabilia's sake. Oh, I wouldn't want anything weird to happen or bad. Oh god. Or even in I gotta get the out of your fireman safety. Okay, guys, so you're going out with your friend on an evening stroll. So you're just out there dancing with your friend, having a good time, and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is a no-hand zone. So you're just gonna take your hands off the steering wheel and go right off a cliff. <laughs> I don't really see how this one's a prank, but um, I mean, I guess I'll try it on Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie, how you doing there, buddy? I'm fine. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? Am I interrupting something? Uh, I'm just chilling uh, with this guy. I don't want to pull you away or anything, but would you want to go for a spin in my sick new ride? Uh, I'm kind of reading about avocados right now, but I guess we could. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, it's so fun! Yeah, man, it's a brand new Stang, and it's bright pink. Isn't it sick? <laughs> Supposed to have water in it. <laughs> I left it out in the rain, and as you can see, it's a convertible. Anyway, hop on in. Is that great? Oh, yeah, very safe. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go for a little spin, shall we? It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. Oh god! I'm sure I could park this. Isn't this great, buddy? Aren't you having so much fun? Oh, watch this! I know a fun trick! Oh my god! grab a pickle on a stick and put it in some meltable chocolate. Ooh, yummy. Let it cool down a little bit and then you put your sprinkles on. Hey, I got these yummy popsicles. Would you like one? Then your friend's like, yes. But little do they know, when they bite into it, they're gonna get something a little sour. Mm. 
Oh, it looks Ooh. like she loves it. <laughs> I bet Lonnie's gonna love this one. Okay guys, so the first thing we need is a stove. And then you grab yourself a pot full of water. And then you're technically supposed to put a metal bowl, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna put another pot inside the water. Grab your meltable chocolate. Oh my gosh, look how thick that is. It's like a crazy Hershey's, that's thicker than my hand. Whoa, I've never, that's a thick chocolate bar. Anyway, now just occasionally stir this bad boy and wait for it to melt. And now that our chocolate is nice and melted, we go ahead and grab our pickles. Oh yes, these ought to do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my craft sticks. Oh yes, the perfect material for any craft. Just gonna grab my pickle and dry it off a little bit. That way it's not so wet. This should help the chocolate stay on it a little easier. I don't know what kind of chocolate covered thing this is supposed to be, but we just grab our craft stick, shove it right in there. And now, just cover this bad boy in chocolate. Oh baby. Lonnie's gonna have a great surprise here. A real sweet treat, I tell ya. Honestly, I like chocolate and pickles, so I don't see how this could turn out bad, you know? Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and now we have a beautiful chocolate-covered pickle on a stick. Now we just add sprinkles. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It looks like a chocolate-covered chicken wing. Just completely cover it in all the sprinkles. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down, and then we're all ready to give it to Lonnie. Okay, now that this pickle is nice and cooled down, um, let's see how Lonnie likes it. Oh, Lonnie! Yeah, hello? <laughs> so I found this life hack where you make uh, your own popsicle. Doesn't it look absolutely delicious? Aside from that weird slime that I don't understand, <laughs> yeah, it actually kind of does. That's just where uh, the popsicle didn't freeze in the freezer. Yeah, I don't know, that's just some liquid. Oh, wow, look at that! You get a solid chunk of... Of chocolate, it's chocolate. It's all yours, let me know what you think. Uh, I think that I'm suspicious, but I love chocolate and food on a stick, and I can't see what it is through the chocolate in the back. I wanna puke for you. Why? <laughs> that's a pickle on a stick! <laughs> it like almost made me projectile vomit. <laughs> The taste was really gross, but I thought I could handle it. <laughs> My body said, no. Nope. You've been pranked! I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I feel like Lonnie kind of liked it. Is there any more? No, I threw it all away. That was disgusting. Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, me too. Happy birthday. So for this one, we're gonna need toothpaste and some Oreos. All we gotta do is put toothpaste inside the Oreo where the cream goes. Put the bad boy back together, and then when you see your friend, you can offer them one, and then they take it, and they're like, mmm, good Oreo. Why is it so minty? Oh, it's not supposed to feel like you're brushing your teeth when you eat these? <laughs> Look at that girl's face. That's the sound she's making. <laughs> I love it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need are some Oreos. Fun fact guys, this is my favorite cookie. It's my absolute favorite. I could probably eat this whole box right now, but I will definitely regret it later. So we just take our little Oreo, and then we break it in half. And Lonnie doesn't need this cream filling anymore. So we're just gonna scrape all this out. Oh yes, delicious. And then we go ahead and grab some toothpaste and just put it right inside of our Oreo. Oh wow, that definitely matches the filling color. Very nice, very nice. Oh yes. Carefully replace the top to our Oreo and just squish it right in there. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is gonna be a very minty Oreo. Oh boy! I think I need a little bit more. And that looks pretty solid. Okay guys, so I have the perfect plan. So I'm gonna tell Lonnie that this is the how many Oreos can you eat challenge. And I'm gonna make sure that he, oh my gosh, which one was it? Is it? Oh it is, okay. So I'm gonna take the toothpaste Oreo, and I'm gonna put it on his side, three Oreos deep. That way, it's the third one that he grabs. Oh, Lonnie! 
Huh? Hey, Lonnie. How you doing, my guy? Scared. Very scared. But good. Lonnie, I'm really sorry about the whole prank thing with the pickle and the, the chocolate. That was a real dick move of me. <laughs> Don't even sweat it, dude. I almost forgot how deceiving you were. Well, I wanted to make it up to you by uh, filming a really special video. This is the How Many Oreos Can You Eat Challenge? Probably a lot. <laughs> to a tree, probably. So the goal is to try and eat more Oreos than the other person. This is actually a viral trend on the internet. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. Are you ready to do it? Okay. Okay, Lonnie, this is your side. Uh, you just go ahead and start from- From where specifically? Probably like somewhere. Probably like there. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna start right now! Here we go! Eat my gosh, asshole. <laughs> You're drinking my milk. <laughs> Dunking it makes me eat it faster. <laughs> I always do this. You think I trust Nabisco? I do. This one's clearly not been tampered with. Mmm. <laughs> 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 What's wrong, Lonnie? Does it taste a little minty? I told you not to trust those cookie guys. There's You've been pranked! What? It was you? <laughs> I put toothpaste in the Oreo! I can barely taste it. <coughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Wait, are you actually throwing up? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Make sure I can feel it. Oh god, I like the first part of this one. So for this one, you're gonna need some glue and an empty hand sanitizer bottle. Go ahead and put your glue inside the little hand sanitizer bottle and then offer it to your friend. And then when your friend goes to use it, they're gonna rub it into their hands and they're gonna be like, oh no! My hands are glued together! <laughs> what did you put in this hand sanitizer? And then they'll never trust you again. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna need is a little bottle of hand sanitizer. And then we're gonna need a bottle of glue. Let's go ahead and take the top off of this bad boy and put it inside the hand sanitizer bottle. Ideally this would be empty, you know? So none of the glue was coming out, so I just shoved a toothpick in this hole. It's a little graphic. <laughs> okay, let's see if that worked. really doesn't want to come out though. Do I have a vice? I'm gonna go get a vice. Oh, hey Lonnie, how's it going? Don't mind me, I'm just uh, getting advice. It's actually a buyer's market. It's, you gotta buy low, sell high, just so you know, financially. No, I said a vice, oh. not advice. I really, I really appreciate that though. Okay, yeah, just, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. These dividends aren't gonna get themselves. Okay, we're gonna try this again with our vice. Oh, yes. And we just need a good, solid squeeze. Oh, boy. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Solid squeeze. This is not working very well. Tighten it, tighten, tighten. Oh wow, it's coming out, yes. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, wait, I can't stop it. Wait, no, oh, oh, I messed up. Oh, I can't stop it now. It got clogged, it won't go in. Honestly, I think that should be enough. It, it really doesn't need to be that much. Go ahead and put that on. Oh yes, that is much better. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this bad boy off a little bit. <laughs> Hey, Lonnie, how you doing there, buddy? What's up, man? Well, um, you know how I made you sleep in this deep, dark, uh, dirty basement that's uh, kind of covered in dust and stuff? You know what? I do remember that. Well, I felt kind of bad, so I got you some hand sanitizer. This doesn't make up for it at all, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's not even full, and it's way too viscous to trust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he says yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do, eat this or something? <laughs> this is how you get your kicks, you sicko. <laughs> ah, ah, what? What? It burns, what? Is it supposed to? It might just be the anxiety. Nothing's wrong with this hand sanitizer. It smells like hand sanitizer, or it could at least do some damage. What did you do? Reduce it to 98% of germs? I only left the most lethal one. <laughs> I can't sense any imminent danger here at all, so I'm just gonna keep having it. I'm gonna rejoice in this moment. That's a lot of hand sanitizer. Why are you putting so much on? I wanna get really clean. You're gonna put it all over your body next? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were gonna interview me about my hygiene habits. <laughs> well, Lonnie, I actually have a little bit of a confession. Um, that's actually school glue. Ah! You've been pranked! Ah! Oh no. Now it's stuck on you forever. Just kidding. It's I hope I don't fun. exacerbate the situation in a comedic fashion. Oh no! <laughs> well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I can't play iPhone games like this. My career is over. So you're in the middle of class and your friend decides to take a nap. 
and you decide, hey, this is the perfect opportunity to prank them. So what you're gonna do is grab a marker and then start drawing on your friend. But you're gonna make it look like a cut. That way, it looks like they cut themselves in their sleep. Ah, almost woke up. Oh yes, add a little bit of blood, and then you'll wake them up, and they'll see their hand and be like, oh my gosh, I cut my hand! And then they'll faint and fall back to sleep, I guess. What a funny prank. But will this one work on Lonnie? Well, let's go try it. Okay guys, so it's about 1.30 right now, which is around the time that Lonnie takes his afternoon nap. So it's a perfect opportunity to pull this prank. I'm just gonna have to be really careful going down the slide with all this stuff. Okay, here we go. Just, uh, oh boy, oh, it's gonna be real quiet. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh. I really hope I'm not being too loud. Oh. oh my gosh, that was a lot. So Lonnie is sleeping right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna carefully put all my supplies right here so I have access to them. First thing we're gonna do is apply the prosthetic to his face. It kind of looks like Canadian bacon. Don't need these anymore. Let's go ahead and grab some spirit gum and apply it to our prosthetic. I'm gonna use my little fan to make the spirit gum more tacky. Oh yes, there we go. Now, I'm gonna carefully apply the prosthetic to Lonnie's face. Carefully apply it. Oh yes. John Kennedy. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's quiet, 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 shh. Now we're gonna get some foundation and just apply it to the outside of this. Oh yes. Help that blend in real good. It's not blending in. Oh yes, this should help. Just keep caking it on there until it really just all blends together. Add a little bit of finishing powder. Put a little bit of finishing spray. Then we grab some lingonberry jam, AKA some bloody scab. Mm, this looks absolutely disgusting. Exactly what we need. Look at that bloody scab. Oh God, stick on there. Come on, come on bloody scab. You can do it bloody scab. I think I might have left it. There's no texture for this. Now I have to carefully remove all of my makeup stuff. Okay guys, it's time to wake up Lonnie. Good morning, Lonnie! What time is it? Oh my god, what's on your face? What? What is that? There's oh something god. all over your face. Is it blood? Oh my god, it's blood! Oh, you must have cut yourself in my basement! I was having a dream, I was having such a close shave! Lonnie, that bloody scab is really gross looking! <laughs> Thanks, I think so too. You know, it's kind of crazy because it's almost like you've been pranked! Did you do this? I did. That's not a prank. I'm harmed. That is the effects makeup, Lonnie. You added this in post? You deep faked this wound? <laughs> you CGI this like Avatar. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you fell for that, Lonnie. It doesn't even look that real. I'm kind of blind. It looks really real to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this absolutely works. You've been pranked. I'll see you later. Enjoy the rest of your nap, Lonnie. Um, oh, do you not have a blanket? Um... I'll make the. Do you guys think this is some sort of metaphor or something? Okay, you have a good nap, Lonnie. I promise I won't prank you ever again. Fire. Okay, guys, so this one's from a channel called T Studio, a classic channel. And they have some really classic pranks. So you see your friend, and they're eating an ice cream, and you're like, oh, I want that ice cream, but I want you more. And then you're gonna come in, and then you're gonna fake them out, because you're gonna eat that and then you're gonna skedaddle out of there. Leave him in the cold. I bet Lonnie will never see this one coming. Oh wow, what a wonderful, beautiful day. Lonnie, is that you? Nice day for a treat, isn't it? Oh, yes, it really is. That looks like a beautiful treat. Oh wow, just like you, you look like a... I'm happy that you're passionate about it. <laughs> it is mine though. I love a man. Nothing could really distract me from not letting you have it. Just laser focused on this treat right now. Not ready to eat it, but I'm gonna soon. When the time is right. Anyway, Lonnie, I was just gonna tell Tell you, I really love a man with a scar, and I think we should make out. <laughs> this is all so surprising, and what the god, what the dingus, what the golly, good god. You've been pranked! I stole your ice cream! Do you think a fall from this high would kill me? Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> Okay guys, so the other day, I was cleaning my bathroom and I happened to find a sparkler next to an incense holder. And that made me think, what if I put the sparkler inside of it and then I tell someone it's an incense? That's like the perfect prank. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on Lonnie. <laughs> oh, 
hey Lonnie, how you doing there, bud? I'm just chilling, you know, keeping it cash. So I don't know if you've been smelling that weird smell in this basement lately. Um, I think something might have died down here a little while ago. I just thought that's normal at your house. I thought it was you. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's not actually normal. Um, my bad. So anyway, I got you this incense uh, for you to burn. Uh, that way to get rid of the smell a little bit. Um, here, move your feet really quick. Oh, thank you so much. Um, you can go ahead and light this bad boy whenever you want. Uh, that way it doesn't smell in here anymore. Oh, okay. That, I, that, I guess it is important and that we should do it now. What a weird piece of tape on the end of an incense. Wow. Come on, this thing must be broken. It must have dust on it or something. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh my God, Lonnie. Oh, oh, I think you lit a bomb. Oh, 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 wait, that's not an incense. It's a bomb. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. It's been nice working here. I guess we're going to die. So, it's been real. This thing's gonna blow any minute. <laughs> You've been pranked! That's not a bomb! It's just a sparkler, Lonnie! You know, 4th of July and all that? Thank you to the troops, respectfully, but it smells even worse in here now. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this original prank actually works. Did you fall for it? You're a bad man, Robbie. <laughs> okay, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need are some boxes. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's a lot of boxes. These are beautiful boxes. I don't know where these boxes came from, the heavens. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is make myself a box body. So I'm guessing like, this looks like a going together box. Yeah, I like it, pretty good so far. And then I need some box legs. Oh, that is my feet box. This would be for my arms. Yeah, and I think uh, that'll do it. That should be my whole body worth of boxes, I guess. Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, I set up all the holes and stuff. Now I just have to put everything on. When does the prank end? <laughs> oh! Okay guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up on some of this minute right down there. If you guys want to watch more Lonnie, feel free to click over here. Are you all good, Lonnie? What? Yeah. I'm sorry if I traumatized you a little bit with this video, man. Is everyone screaming or just me? If you guys want to watch me do even more funny pranks on Lonnie, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing them right here. You remember that, Lonnie? Wasn't it a great time? One to you. <laughs> okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Upward ending. Okay, bye. <laughs>